morning, friends. It's Nancy, and I'm just um, about to start another uh, um, project for the hashtag, the big book of ideas. So I just pulled this uh, book off my shelf, uh, The Lore of Spices, and 1991. So I'm going to be deconstructing it a bit. Um, but what I want to do, well, it's even hard to describe it. So let's just get started. I was kind of hoping I could find uh, like a baton. Oop, there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. exactly what I want. Just put that there. So it looks like I can trim off the margins. As soon as I put my hand on it, I moved it. So happy Wednesday, uh, or halfway through the week. It's been a crazy, crazy busy week at the office. Uh, wondering if there's a full moon. <laughs> I try not to think about that. Um, yeah, I intended to just be at the office yesterday for one one client appointment. Yeah, I was there all day. My appointment was at 9. I wanted to be in uh, Cambridge by 10.30 in order to pick up some documents. Um, and then work from home for the rest of the day. But I never got to Cambridge. It was just one thing after another. So many fires. Anyway, I won't complain anymore. I am just going to fold that in half. And my goal here is to make a double pocket. So I can, uh, I can take a fraction more off the edge and then I'm going to grab my circle punch just to make a little thumb hole. Actually I won't use my circle punch. I will use my um, envelope board. Doesn't matter where I put it. I am going to ink it up. Looks like I need a new sponge on there, but edges of um, these tags. So I bought these tags like this. Um, so they've got a little attachment top and bottom. Um, I have enough I can share so I will list these in my Etsy shop. Uh, I'll do it before I post this video so you can go over and have a look see if that's something that you would like to put in your future journals. everything looks like everything's inked okay 
Now, what I want to do is I am going to run a bead of glue top and bottom and in the center. So I've got my uh, make sure that that's working. And then I'll just use a pair of scissors. Whoop, a little more ants. Circle punch. Come on. Stuck there. Add a little more ink. Now, I want to decorate this a little. Um, grab some Timmy, Timmy stuff. in there. Got some words. Got some other things. And
That might be too big. Just grabbing some poster stamps. This is weird. It's the same image. green. this a bit. Maybe that's going to be enough is just that and then I can add maybe a word snippet to it So of course you don't have to have these tags to make this. You can just put two tags together and um, paper just fell out of my hair. <laughs> yeah, you can just put two tags together and uh, maybe put them together with some washi tape or you can cut uh, tags that are together. Um, conjoined, if you will. Um, I'm going to trim off this edge and uh, add a cardstock or, or file folder or something like that. like it might lift up okay now I like this uh, be curious Be 
be curious is crooked. glue on just in case. something. Maybe I do. Whoop. All right, now I want to add some stitches. Okay, so the stitching's done. Now I've got these um, rein hole reinforcements. And, whoop. Add a little glue, make sure they don't fall off. So these are just paper reinforcements that I bought at the surf store and I dyed them in tea. So they, they started out white in a former life. Okay. Now. So we can decorate this side. Um, maybe just a little collage. And the reason I'm going back and forth with how I tear this is so when I tear it backwards, there there isn't the layering of paper on the front surface. And when I pull it forward, you can see there's several layers of paper there. It gives it uh, if this was colored cardstock, it would give it a wet a white edge. I was going to say it would give it a wedge. Okay, I'm going to ink that. And 
course, these in no, no way need to be matching. Just thinking, I've got some new washi tape that might look good here, but it's in a different room. I'm going to tear this off a little shorter so I don't cover up any of the stitching. Same deal here. Now, I think I'm going to attach this with just a narrow um, line of glue so that something could be tucked under there. If, if I wanted to. one there's two okay let's put this oh I wanted to demonstrate. So the idea is, you can put a tag there, and put a tag in there, and then if you want to tuck a, something in there, you can go in there. I don't want to tuck it in too deep. So, now this could, let's find the center. This could have gone in the center of the signature and then there would be a tag on each side. But because my book's already completed, that's not going to work. So I'm just going to fold it this way. Let me get my bone folder. So I didn't need to decorate both sides because I'm going to glue I'm going to glue this side down. Yeah. I'm going to use um, fabric glue. Get in there, you. Just kidding. 
this edge here. You know what I forgot to do? Put something through the hole. punchy there and just put the thread all the way through where the ribbon or the what have I got So this opens up, you can put some tags there, put a tag there, turn this over, put a tag in here, and a tag in here. Let's write a note. What is today? Oh, it's May the 1st. Okay. Double tag. Triple pocket. <laughs> I'm just going to put in a note. Also, could be centered in signature. All right. Well, I hope you thought that was interesting. Uh, I'm going to do a few more. How much time have I abused? Oh, it's been about half an hour, so I'm not going to mass make these. But um, again, I could use, I'm wondering if these would fit in uh, on a uh, Edith Holden page, but I could I could use book page. I could use anything to to cover these tags, um, just as long as the paper was, you know, uh, sturdy enough. All right. So take care of yourself. Uh, I hope you have a great Wednesday. We will talk to you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>